Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric. It is the morning of Sunday, December the 17th. Yesterday I made my pro debut at the IDFA Natural Universe Bodybuilding Competition. And today I just wanted to thank everybody and I'm gonna be going over some of the mistakes that I made during this prep, everything that went well. And if I do plan on competing again, some of the mistakes that I'm gonna to need to correct for the next competition. Overall, everything went great yesterday. I ended up taking home first place in the pro bodybuilding competition, which that was my main goal. When it came to men's physique, I took home second place. And the guy that came in first, he did a really great job with his posing. He's been a pro since 2017. And he's competed as a pro every year, single year since 2017. So his posing was absolutely spot on. And that's one area where if I do decide to compete in men's physique again, I am going to have to work on because my posing at first, I was thinking that maybe it was just I wasn't hitting the poses properly. And that's why he won because he really did an amazing job. And he was also much taller than me. He was six, five, I'm five foot eight, five foot nine. So there was a huge difference in height. And he also outweighed me by 45 pounds. He was 198 pounds. I was 155.8 pounds. So that was one thing. But then the more I thought about it later on, the more I thought that maybe I was just going a little too intense on the poses, because when it comes to men's physique, it's supposed to be a more natural look. So you should kind of just go through the poses kind of relaxed where I might have been flexing a little bit too hard. So at first I thought maybe he was just out posing me and doing a better job with that. And then I'm thinking maybe I just outworked him a little bit too much and I should have been a little bit more relaxed on stage. So those were some of the mistakes that I made in terms of things that I did well during this competition. Overall, I was not overtrained for this competition. I trained a lot less intensely than I did for the last show. So because I was not overtrained, my energy levels during the last couple of weeks were phenomenal. And I was actually able to stick to the diet properly and I wasn't starving myself. Right up until the day of the competition, my energy levels were great. And if the competition had been one or two weeks later, I'm pretty confident that I could have continued to diet down and went down another couple pounds of fat. So that's a couple of things that went right. Another couple things that went right were my individual routine with regard to the posing. For the most part, pretty much nailed it. There were two times where I made a little bit of a mistake. One of the times I went from a double bicep, I was supposed to go right into a side tricep and instead I kind of went into the archer. So that was just a couple little mistakes. So I ended up going from the front bicep to the archer and then I just had to make a modification on the fly and go into the side tricep. So that was one of the mistakes. Another mistake that I made leading into this prep was I just did not practice the men's posing, the men's physique posing as much as I should have. I probably spent for every one minute that I practiced men's physique, probably 10 minutes practicing my bodybuilding. So if I do decide to compete again, that is one thing that I am going to have to work on, just spend a little bit more time on the men's physique posing. But overall, the main category that I did want to win was the, uh, was the pro bodybuilding category, and that is the one that I took home first place in. So I'm really happy that I took home first in that. And I'm still really happy that I took home second place in men's physique. And then the final thing that went absolutely phenomenally was my carb load. With regard to my carb load strategy, originally the plan was 60 grams of Manuka honey every hour on the hour, followed by a st 10 station, 20 repetition circuit, and then go through my routine. And the plan was to do that six to eight times on the Friday. So the day before the competition, and then on the Saturday, every hour on the hour, cut the dose in half, and I was gonna do M&Ms. So instead of 50 grams worth of carbs from the Manuka honey, it was gonna be 25 grams of carbs from the M&Ms. But I woke up in the morning and I was looking pretty damn good. The, vas uh, the vascularity was there. So I decided to forego the M&Ms and instead, I just swapped out the M&Ms for this organic honey right over here. And what I did was for my first two doses in the morning, I ended up doing 60 gram servings of the Manuka. And then from there on out, I believe it was four servings between my second dose of Manuka. And by the time I hit the stage, I ended up taking 30 grams worth of the organic honey. And I did that three times before I hopped on stage. And then literally maybe about another five minutes before I hopped on stage, 10 minutes before I hopped on stage, I did a fourth dose of the Manuka honey. Overall, everything looked pretty good at first. I was really worried about timing the carbs because the vascularity of my legs, they were there pretty much all day. And then it started to go away a little bit. And then right before I hopped on stage, about 10 minutes before, that's when I took another 30 grams because I just wasn't sure if I was going to spill over or not. Luckily, it paid off. I looked at my legs. The vascularity was there again. So overall, the carb load went really, really well. 
But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to thank all you guys for your support. And it was a really, really great experience. If I do decide to compete again, I think I might be doing the CPA show. There is the President's Cup. Usually it takes place around October. So if I do decide to do another show, I've got 11 months to get ready. But that's everything. Thank you all for your support. And I will see you guys next time.